This is from a Fortune magazine op-ed. I'm going to call it an op-ed because this was uh, this was written uh, by uh, the CEO of a virtual assistant company called Time, etc. Barnaby Lashbrook is the CEO. And again, they provide virtual assistance for professionals, okay? And so this is written, and I'm going to read, I rarely read large chunks, but because this is written by a CEO who has done something so simple, it is profound, and it illustrates my point that leadership, while being hard, is simple. And so this is fantastic. So according to an annual survey of Gallup, employee engagement dropped to a seven-year low in 2022. Over a third of workers reported feeling engaged at work. So that's 33% of workers said, I, I'm engaged. I'm actually intentional here at work. I'm not a quiet quitter. While almost a fifth, 18%, described themselves as actively disengaged, I call this theft. If you are telling a survey that you are actively disengaged at work, you are stealing. It's just that simple. Oh, Ken, you're just you're just old school, man. You just you just you're just out of touch. No, I'm not. I have enormously large dosages of common sense. I just do. And and I don't mind telling you. I I don't have a college degree. I am never, and I mean this, never the smartest person in a room. Just on the intelligence scale, if you look at my IQ, I don't even know what my IQ is. I don't even care because my EQ is off the charts. I know people. And the, the other thing I realized, Nathan, is I'm going to start being I'm going to start being a little bit bold and brash about it. I have more common sense than most people. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. They, you say, how do you know? I just do. I've just decided that I have enormous amounts of common sense. And that's what I have to offer you. So if you are actively disengaged at work, I have news for you. Look at me right in the eye. This is common sense. You are a thief. How about that? You're stealing. On in the article again, this is, if you're just joining us, Barnaby Lashbrook, CEO of the virtual assistant company, Time It, et cetera, and this is a op-ed. He then goes on to write, at my company, we took a decidedly, uh, I'm sorry, I jumped ahead. I'm sorry, I jumped ahead. I got so excited kept telling people they were stealing. Um, Gallup's measure of engagement is made up of several elements which employees are asked to rate. Those that have declined the most include clarity of expectations, opportunities to learn and grow, connection to the purpose of the company, opportunities to do what they do best, and feeling cared for at work. These are all in decline. So he goes on to say, at my company, we took a decidedly different approach after we started asking the people we were hiring what they needed from a manager. Now, this is the first aha moment for me as I'm reading this. They proactively decided in the interview process, interviewing candidates, they said, they asked, what do you need from your leader? Fascinating concept. So people responded. What stood out was how the list they gave us, goal setting, this is what potential employees said in the interview process that they needed from their leader. They said goal setting, feedback, personal and professional development opportunities, and autonomy, which is a fancy word for I want to feel free. I want to be left alone to do my job. So they realize this. And this is what he says. These, this list sounded much more like they needed a coach rather than a manager. Uh, Alex, this made me so excited that I have Velcroed my pants to my seat so that I don't levitate. Because when I read this, this is, this is to me some of the best leadership I have read about in a long, 
long time. So we listened to them. Our managers were all replaced with coaches. These would be professional coaches, probably life coaches, career coaches. Some of the men and women that I've associated with, that we've done some things with you on, I've farmed you out to some of these coach friends of mine. It would be someone like me. But these are professional certified coaches. They replace their managers with coaches, people who know how to coach professionals. It's fascinating. And this was the ratio. They had one coach assigned to six employees. So every six employees had one coach assigned to them. Brilliant. Our coaches have one very clear job to do, help our employees be productive as possible, and in doing so, achieve more. I I have to let that sit. That's the role of a leader. But see, we don't train leaders to lead like a coach. So what do they do? This guy and his leadership team say, you know, we're going to bring in coaches who just simply know how to coach, and we're just going to plug them in with the employees, and we'll support our coaches. Now, this is fascinating what happened. They offer, these coaches offer close mentoring and feedback. They encourage employees to identify how they work best and make sure they are offered the training and support to develop professionally. Our coaches are still there like their managers were before to act as a first port of call when challenges arise. But, but, this is so powerful. Instead of directing from above, the focus is on empowering and supporting the employee to find their own way forward. Slow clap right here for great leadership. So they had hire a professional coach who knows how to coach people. And so we figure out, and they're listening, and they're asking good questions. See, a great coach doesn't instruct as much as ask questions. And once the coach asks enough questions, then they are they pull enough out of the person. The person's light bulb is coming on at the same time, and the coach comes alongside of them and helps them. And the coach can report up to, to company leadership and go, they are needing this support and development. It's fascinating. We've embedded a culture of self-improvement deep into our way of working. Listen to this. Staff have a monthly allowance to spend on Udemy courses or books, and coaches will recommend reading material from our well-stocked library of self-growth books. We also run regular workshops, bringing outside experts to run tailored classes on topics that our coaches believe could be useful to all staff, but mindfulness to confidence building. Excuse me, from mindfulness to confidence building. Feeling trusted and supported at work had the greatest impact on how engaged employees were. A survey of 50,000 employees by impulse found. So that's what we've done. Here's what they've seen. Performance on key goals has improved up to 20%. Overall, the gains have been so significant that there's no going back for us. Turning the tide of dwindling employee engagement is going to need bold action. So Barnaby Lashbrook, I salute you. I honor you because this is bold leadership. This takes guts. But all great leadership starts with the guts to do something different that you believe is right. This is amazing. I want to get him on the show. We're going to do a deep dive leadership interview. I'm telling you, unless he says no. But folks, if you're in a leadership role, you better listen. Listen. 